Yo, what's going on ladies and gents? My name is Arbuckle. Welcome back to another video. Today we are once again back on Modern Warfare and I wanted to share with you guys the best class setup for the Origin 12 Stalker Blueprint. Uh, so this is a legendary blueprint and it's actually a very, very good one. Uh, if you guys take a look at the stats that come with the original blueprint, you'll see that we get a huge accuracy and range boost. However, we end up losing a ton of mobility and in the class setup that I'm going to share with you, we're actually going to fix that. So we're going to get that huge accuracy and range boost. However, we're going to keep our mobility from dropping as much as it does in the original blueprint. So if you guys take a look at the class that I'm going to be running, you'll see our muzzle, we're going to be using the choke. So with the choke, you get tighter pellet spread, which is very, very clutch. Obviously, with the shotguns, you also get a nice little damage boost. Uh, we lose aim down sight speed, and I want to make it clear that with this class setup, my main focus was not aim down sight speed, because most of the time with shotguns, you're not really aiming. You're just running around hip firing, especially if you like to play on shipment or shoot house 24 7 so that is what this class is going to be geared towards uh, lots of really good hip fire accuracy so uh, again the choke is what we're going to be running here to have that tighter bullet uh, pellet spread obviously giving us a range boost uh, the barrel we're using using is a forge tack impaler or impaler however you want to say that uh, with this you're going to get damage range and again another tighter pellet spread uh, giving us a nice boost to our accuracy and range again aim down sight speed is a con however we are not concerned about that uh, the laser we're going to be running is the 5mw laser and this is important a lot of people like to run the tack laser because you do get all of those nice advantages but with the 5mw laser you actually get uh, hip fire accuracy and sprint to fire speed which I think are the two most important pros that you can have with the shotguns especially if you're playing on those smaller maps uh, hip fire accuracy is very very important especially with this shotgun you want to be able to hit people from a distance so improving that hip fire accuracy as well as that sprint to fire speed is going to boost our accuracy boost our mobility and overall make this weapon a monster uh, we're not going to be running an optic. The original blueprint has an optic. I don't think it's worth it. It knocks down aim down sight speed even more. And most of the time, like I said, you're not even aiming and you don't really need uh, a scope with a shotgun. So we're not going to waste uh, an attachment with an optic. We're not going to be using a stock. The underbarrel that we're using is the Commando Foregrip. So what I like about the Commando Foregrip is that we get another boost to accuracy, range, and control. You guys will see that we get recoil stabilization as well as aiming stability. A really good attachment to have for pretty much any weapon in the game. We're not going to be running any extra ammunition. And last but not least, the rear grip that we're using is rubberized grip tape. Now this is one of the, the rare changes that I'll make to the rear grip. Generally we run stippled grip tape because of that sprint to fire speed and aim down sight speed. But we're going to be using this to get recoil control give one more boost to our accuracy I think with the origin 12 shotgun it's very very important to have accuracy and range boosted as much as you possibly can uh, because the gun is obviously more difficult to take people out the further away people get so um, having that accuracy boost again here at the end is going to help us out give us one last push you'll see our stats one final time a huge accuracy and range boost and only a minuscule uh, loss to our mobility and damage which isn't too bad but a really good class setup I've been playing around with it and found a lot of success in shipment and hopefully you guys will too if you guys have any questions or anything else to add with this class setup make sure to leave them down in the comment section below and I'll be sure to try to help some of you guys out I really hope you guys did enjoy this video please make sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and I'll see all you guys in the next video